Subcultures dedicated to a violent form of Satanism spread their hateful material online. But their influence is now being felt in the real world. There have been too many examples of individuals who've been radicalized by this material. These ideas can directly lead to violence. In June 2020, sisters Bieber Henry and Nicole Smallman were brutally murdered in a knife attack by a stranger while celebrating Bieber's birthday in a London park. Today we remember our girls as the wonderful, strong women they were. Their misogynistic killer, Danielle Hussain, now 19, believed he'd entered a demonic pact in which he'd committed to killing women. He was convicted in July 2021. Face me, hands on your head, stay where you are. You're under arrest, all right? Officers who arrested Hussein found a handwritten agreement in his bedroom in which he promised to sacrifice only women in return for money and power. In the past two years, seven young men, six of them teenagers, have been sentenced for neo-Nazi terrorism offences in which a violent Satanist organisation was a key radicaliser. Daniel Hussain's was not a terrorist case, but he was influenced by material he found online. Hussain had earlier been referred by his school to the counter-extremism programme, Prevent, owing to his interest in the extreme right wing. But very little has been publicly revealed about how he came to hold his belief in demonic packs. Concerned by what might still be out there, we've kept investigating. Hussein was active on a forum devoted to certain forms of Satanism and the occult. He joined in March 2018 while he was being assessed by Prevent, telling others he was a psychic vampire. He sought advice on demonic pacts. The forum is run by an American self-styled black magician called E.A. Kurting. Hussein introduced himself by saying, I absolutely love E.A. and his work, and had learned his first spell from him. Kurting's real name is Matthew Lawrence from Utah. He's previously been convicted of drug and weapon possession charges. Kurting sells expensive books and courses and uses social media to promote himself. Hussein remained on the forum for two years. After the murders, it took a month to identify him using DNA. He last logged into the forum only hours before his arrest. Daniel Hussein's beliefs mirror ideas promoted by Kurtin. The so-called pact written by the murderer in which he committed to killing women was addressed to the mighty king Lucifuge Rofakale, believed by Hussein to be a powerful demon. Kurtin promotes the idea that people can enter into pacts with Lucifuge, but says that real-world action will be required if their requests are to succeed. And if you want to make a pact with the powers of darkness as a whole, Lucifuge is the guy you need to talk to. There are parallels between Kurting's public instructions about such pacts and what Hussein did. He instructs people to sign the pact in blood, something done by Hussein, but that Lucifuge's signature will be visible only to you. A blank space was on the killer's document. Kurting says the final pact should be brought before the demon, lit only by candlelight. Hussein bought candles at the same time he purchased the knife used to murder Bieber and Nicole. Kurting says, include in your pact the attainment of wealth. Hussein asked for wealth and a lottery win. Some of Kurting's writings openly discuss and encourage murder. One book explains how to kill with a knife in a ritual sacrifice. Another work quotes the Moore's murderer Ian Brady and advocates terrorist methods. The text was written for the American Nazi Satanist group Temple of Blood that appeared as an influence on the seven young men recently convicted of neo-Nazi terror offences. The American group is part of a broader violent Satanist network, Order of Nine Angles, first founded in Britain. Two neo-Nazi groups influenced by the ideology have recently been outlawed in the UK as terrorist organisations. Professor Matthew Feldman was an expert in all seven UK terror cases. I think it's important to say certainly not all forms, even most forms of Satanism are not violent. But this very specific form of what's called left-hand path Satanism is a sort of social Darwinistic idea of the strong dominating the weak. Um, a lot of language about what they call culling or murder, um, you know, different types of sacrifice, different types of self-harm. 
these ideas can directly lead to violence. And I think that we recognize with other forms of extremism that ideas can lead to terrorism and to violence. And I think it's no different in this case. We wrote to Kurting setting out our findings. We didn't receive a response. We asked Facebook and YouTube whether they consider him to be suitable for their platforms. They didn't provide an answer. The motive for the murders of Bieber and Nicole seemed beyond belief, but how the killer came to hold his beliefs may be becoming clearer. 